Welcome to the River Bandits wrap up. I'm Harrison Ralph here at Modern Woodman Park with the Quad Cities River Bandits just lost, lost a tough one, 3-2 to the Cedar Rapids Colonels. This was game one of a three game set. It was Justin Farrell on the bump for Quad Cities and on the mound for Cedar Rapids was Sam Gibbons. Let's go take a look at the highlights. Back to second and brings it home. A line drive towards center field, drifting back Bobby Boyd, still going back and it's over his head. It hits up against the fence. Gordon hustling towards second, now trying for third. Here's the relay throw by Bregman, and it's going to come late, and Nick Gordon with an RBI triple to give the Colonels a 1-0 lead in the top of the third. 3-2 and two from Farrell. There goes the runner again. Ground ball, backhanded at third base by Tanielu. He throws across to first, and in time, they get Zach Larson. A great play from Nick Tanielu, the all-star third baseman, showing the leather there. Not enough to be a full breaker as Woodward shows bunt, and Navarretto doesn't know where it went. It vaults away from him, and Navarretto is in a lot of pain as that ball bounces off to the right. Coming in to score is Loriano and it's Staff. Here's the one, two. Woodward swings and lines it into right center field. It'll get down for a base hit. Being waved around third is Botker. The throw will be cut off, and Botker will come in to score. Woodward comes through with an RBI single, and the Bandits take the lead, two to one. Perfect time for Trent Woodward's first Midwest League RBI. Aradia kicks and offers, breaking ball, line toward left field, in for a base hit. It's scoring is Caressa, here comes the throw from Martin. It's not gonna be cut off, reaches Woodward, but not before Navarretto slides across and scores the go-ahead run on an RBI single by Tanner English. A two-run single to put the Colonels in the lead, three to two. And for the first time in this half of the season, Angel Heredia allows a run. So it was Tanner English coming up with a clutch two-run base hit in the top of the ninth off Angel Heredia, giving Cedar Rapids a 3-2 victory over the River Bandits. Four Quad Cities, Nick Tanielu, Ramon Loriano, and Trent Woodward all had multi-hit games, but the River Bandits ultimately come up one run short tonight against the Colonels. Trent Woodward, the catcher for Quad Cities, went two for four with a couple base hits. One of those, his hit in the sixth inning, drove in a run, giving the River Bandits a 2-1 advantage over the Colonels. Although that did not hold up, it was a big at bat in this game. We talked to Trent Woodward after the game. Well, first off, that guy has some absolutely nasty stuff. So, so he just kind of made a little mistake, um, fell behind with two strikes, and he let the breaking ball up. Um, previously, uh, I was looking to kind of push bunt, kind of do some kind of safety squeeze. Um, second baseman was pretty deep, so I was a first baseman, so I was looking for something like that, and I think the catcher got kind of got lost in my bat, but um, unfortunately, you know, he kind of got drilled, but hopefully he's all right, but uh, as the at bat kind of developed, he just um, left the breaking ball up, and I was able to, to make, make good contact, and, you know, obviously it's frustrating. It's frustrating on myself. I should have made a better play to kind of give us a better opportunity to win, but, uh, you know, we are human. We make mistakes, but the clubhouse is awesome. That's one thing. We're super resilient. Um, we got a three-game series with them. We, you know, lost this one, but we got two more. So, two more big ones to come up. We'll get the get the rubber match tomorrow, or get the second game tomorrow, and hopefully the rubber match on uh, Tuesday. So, just kind of take it one game at a time and try to play good baseball and put ourselves in a good situation to kind of make a push towards uh, first place. The River Bandits and Colonels will meet again later this year, but it won't be in the regular season. It will be in the playoffs. September 9th at Cedar Rapids will be Game One of the playoffs between these two teams. This is their final series of the regular season here at Modern Woodman Park, and the Colonels take game one. Tomorrow is game two of this series between Quad Cities and Cedar Rapids. It will be David Paulino taking the mound for Quad Cities. First pitch at 5.15 tomorrow here at Modern Woodman Park. Thanks for watching the River Bandits wrap up. I'm Harrison Ralph, have a great night.